Mmm, look at this, all autumnal. I did my room up. Shall I show you my room? Did, I made a few things. Actually, you can see the room on TikTok. I got them on it now, and I? <laughs> Shock. Slagged it off for five years. He's finally jumped on it, and he loved it. TM Cycles, follow me. TM Cycles. I'm, 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 the creative juices are flowing again. Everything was a bit stagnant in Instagram. YouTube, not too bad. Instagram, a bit stagnant. Oh, God, do you hear that? Oh, double fuck. See what I mean? There's too much TikTok going on in my head at the moment. But I feel like I've come back around full circle because that's how I started my career on, a, on an iPhone. And now I'm creating content on an iPhone. I feel like Instagram, I can be all like nice and sharp and clean. TikTok, I can be like current with the music and edits and stuff like that. YouTube, I feel like we got it nailed. So yeah, follow me, TM Cycles. The engagement and reach is fantastic on there. We've got a package. Thank you, Gymshark. This is the new Power Range. Power Range, not like Power Rangers, but just like Power Range. This tracksuit that I'm wearing is from Zara. It was mentioned in the previous video. Free autumn outfit ideas for you. Yes, you. All right, let's dig in. Let's get involved. First we have the, oh, this looks sick. I couldn't quite make out the design on the email because it was like a concept. This is some fucking Spider-Man shit, mate. This is the long sleeve hoodie that goes with the bottoms. These are the shorts, I'm loving this style, man. These will go perfectly with like my Nike dry fit tops, the new Nike dry fit range that they've just released. Oh, I don't know if they've just released it, but I picked up a couple of pieces in the JD Blue Water's got that kind of gray metallic camo vibe. So you could either just go pure gray if this is a little bit too clashy or black, but either way, these are the shorts. They're like the cotton style. I always get a medium Gymshark short just because I want them a little higher up. Like I wear them a little higher and a little tighter. I think this is the long sleeve crew neck version. I like a crew. You know what I'm like with my necks. Gymshark always do a good neck. Even if they don't do a good neck and it's like an open one, that's when I get the chain involved. So that's a little little tip. If you are like me that like quite tight necks, but sometimes get, like the, the Nike running range is a little too for me. So I go a size down, and then if it's still like, get like an accessory involved in there, just so you can layer it a little bit. So it's just not like, don't look like a kid in year seven. But this is the long sleeve crew. So I bought one of these, but not this particular. You've seen me mention it before. I like how the back, will grip the bar, but this particular design of the power range compared to the previous one has that kind of broken vibe. Very nice. As you can tell, at the moment, my, my gym coloring has gone back to being quite metallic gray, black. So I've gone, and these are the joggers. I do believe on the site they say oversized, which is cool. So if anyone is opting, or if anyone prefers that slightly oversized look when it comes down to their joggers, then look at the power range. Thank you, Gymshark. I shall wear these next week. Or pair a few different pieces with Nike and kind of. Right, got to get back to editing TikToks now. Testing, one, two, one, two. Receding hairline gang checking in. Tis the season to have patella tendonitis. Da, 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 da. Good soup. No knee pain. Continue watching to find out how in today's educational, informative video on knee pain reduction. Before I begin, I'm not a physio, so if there's any watching, you're like, oh, you can't talk about that, you're not qualified. I'm very well aware of that. This is just a, a collection of tools and stretches and tips from the likes of Alpha Health, Lauren at King's. Worked with Coach Joe as well a couple of weeks ago, gave me some good exercises. And a couple of years ago, I was referred via the NHS to Crystal Palace and Bromley Osteopathy. So my patella or potential patella tendonitis creeps in around about this time of the year. It's the transition from kind of summer, it's hot, there's a lot of blood flow to these joints into these colder, colder months. And that's when mine start to, to creep in a little bit. So from a kind of supplementation point of view, we can look into increasing your fish oils, for example. You've also got supplement needs, liposomal, 
liposomal uh, curcumin, kind of for uh, anti-inflammatory anti supplementation stack. We'll begin with foam roller. Now, it's very divided foam roller, and I can understand why. I tend to just use my foam roller to foam roll insertion points of the IT band. So the side of the knee, the flexors. Sometimes I use like the foam roller to crack my back before like a pull session, for example, but I don't rely on it too heavily. And also never directly foam roll your IT band. You see a lot of that in the gym. It's, it's very counterproductive. If you're having trouble finding where your flexors are, sit like this, straight legs, or you could even do it standing, and just raise your leg, and you'll be able to begin and be able to feel around where your flexors are. So mine's here, make a note of that, just hold your thumb. When you're foam rolling and doing this as well, it's quite handy to do it in like a, a room with mirrors. Because you're so bloody narcissistic, you can look at yourself. But it's always handy just to see where it is. So what we're doing is just putting a foam roller like so, and then you can obviously determine the pressure going through that, that flexor via pressure being applied through the floor. So you can slowly drop into it. And I'm not going up and down the whole IT, but I'm just literally going up and down 30 seconds. And then once I've done that, I'll go up or down, sorry. And looking again, just on the, uh, the side of the IT band here, just on the, on the side of the knee. Again, looking in the mirror. And I'll just be going up and down like that for 30 or so seconds. And then once that's is done, once that's done, we'll get into some stretching. Now onto a couple of quad stretches and a hamstring stretch, then we'll go into the exercise before we begin our leg day. So the first stretch we'll do is the wall quad stretch. If it's the first time you're doing this, be be a bit cautious, may feel very, very tight, but over the duration of you doing this stretch, you'll feel uh, a lot better. So you'll require a mat or a pad. Usually I use like the backrest pad, the thicker the better. Just doing this particular stretch on hard floor is gonna leave your knees even more brock up. So using the yoga mat today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, again, if we're using a mirror, fantastic. We're looking to plant our knee as close to the wall as possible. And if ankle mobility allows, then we're gonna end up in this position here with our tops of our feet flush against the mirror or the wall. If not, then just use your tiptoes, but ensure that we're keeping in the line. So ensure that our ankle and knee are in alignment. Don't be further back here. Don't be here, be here. Into a sort of like 100 meter starting position. Our other leg goes in front. So we have this 90 degree. We don't wanna be in a position whereby we're here or here keep a nice neutral alignment with the spine and we push further and further back. If this is a, a quite a, a tough stretch for you, don't worry, we can sit here for example and over time or throughout the sets, for example, doing four to five sets of 30 seconds, we can slowly push our weight back. Okay, again, using the mirror just to keep everything nice and aligned. The second quad stretch that I do is using our trusty foam roller again. Very simple, this just goes behind our back and sits again on top of our on top of our feet and all we do is just sit back really nice simple quad stretch again using our body weight to get more of a stretch through the quads the hamstring stretch that i do is using the band so lay on our back you probably see excuse me you've probably seen this done a couple of times we begin by looping the the green band around the foot and what's nice about this is we can go into a passive or we can go into like a, a kind of contract, relax stretch. I just tend to do them passive. But lie on our back like so, slight bend in the knee, almost as if we're replicating some form of single leg or like an RDL. And then we'll just use the band and use our own force against it and you should feel a nice stretch in the hamstring. Again, make sure everything's aligned. We don't want to be in this position. We don't want to be in this position. It's a, another big area when people have knee issues is misalignment, especially on things like a leg extension. Okay, so there's a couple of quad, hamstring. Now we'll go into the other room and use a Smith machine for a couple of exercises. If it's too loud in there, then I'll do a voiceover for you. Voice over time because the gym's a little bit too 
lad and busy. So before we begin and show you a few exercises, I wanted to touch on two studies. And this is the sort of general consensus from a lot of physios, and that's that the isometric contraction or exercise is slightly more beneficial at reducing knee pain as opposed to an isotonic. Now, an isometric contraction is essentially a muscular contraction in which the length of the muscle doesn't change. So you do a bicep curl and stop in that mid-range and hold. That's an isometric. An isotonic would be the bicep curl itself. Now, the first study that was done in 2016 by Mathis van Aert concluded that, and this was one of the first studies to show a decrease in patella tendon pain without any modification to training or competition load for the athletes involved. And the second study done in 2017 by Ebony Rio concluded that both protocols, so both kind of isometric and isotonic contractions are effective. However, isometric contractions demonstrate significantly greater pain reduction in the knee as opposed to isotonic. So now what we'll do is we'll jump into a few of the exercises. Okay, so firstly, we are starting with the Spanish wall sit. This this particular exercise, I believe, has been studied in knee pain reduction. So we're using the green band that we've used for our stretching, ideally using a, a Smith machine or a squat rack here that's going to take your weight. And what we're essentially doing is stepping inside it and placing the green band behind the backs of the knees, and then we'll walk out. You want a, a decent amount of, of tension through that band that's going to allow you to kind of sit. Now, the benefit with using a Smith machine, and we're not looking to hinge, by the way. We're not looking to do that. We're looking to to sit back. The benefit, as I said, by using the Smith machine or a squat rack is it allows us to drop into that, that squat a, a little bit more. So what you'll see me do in a second is hold the side, drop down, and then slowly pull away, taking that weight. So we're looking to do five sets of about 30 seconds hold here. Now, the second exercise that I like to do is essentially like a, a kind of, imagine a foot pump. We use the green band, but just place it around one knee, continue to stay behind the knee and we straighten our leg and we hold again for around 30 seconds almost like a, a kind of uh, like a reverse leg extension and now we do come onto a leg extension in a second but again I do I start with five lots of 30 seconds and I go to, into three lots of 30 seconds with this particular hold and then I go into a leg extension so an isometric leg extension and with this particular movement I'm looking to just hold that extension in around about that kind of 45 degree and kind of palpate a little bit just so that we're firing up the quad again single leg is going to be slightly more beneficial as we can kind of align our ankle our knee and our hip and, and shift our weight to the right hand side or, or that dominant leg a little better as opposed to two you can do two but i would recommend that you do one at a time Big thank you for watching today's video any questions at all hit the comment section below don't forget to give the video a like and if you're feeling nice, subscribe to me. It's hard times at the moment in the YouTube sphere. Stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you very soon. Thank you, good night. Much love.